I'm gonna pay what we agreed. Oh no, we're not doing that. So you're gonna take my bike? Yeah, I'm gonna sell it to get my money out. You want me to go to court? You know, I have never been sued in 31 years. And I'm not gonna be sued now. And you know what you just lost? Hey, I'm Chris. Uh, we're right outside Psychologic Bike Shop, going in there to talk about a bill. It's given a message from the owner that says our original agreement was for $150, and then after they did a bunch more work that I never approved, they're giving me a bill of almost three and a half times more for $500 plus. I think that's completely unreasonable. I have a receipt that says I only agreed to so much work being done, and so I'm gonna go in and confront them, try to see if we can resolve the issue. If not, I will give them a notice of intent to file a lawsuit. You got my bike? It's fixed. It's fixed. Everything. Everything. Is fixed. I sent you a text. Yes, I got the text. Okay. Remember when I told you we don't let him go out of here wrong? But I told you. That I know what you told me. He wouldn't do it for that. I told you my budget was only 150. Right. So it's mine now. You're gonna take my bike? If you don't pay for no, it. No, I'm gonna pay what we agreed. Oh no, we're not doing that. So you're gonna take my bike? Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna sell it to get my money out. Really? Yep. But we have an agreement. No, we don't have an agreement. What do you mean? We agreed that we would try to fix it for 150. No, we you gave me a not. sales receipt. I did, for yes. a deposit. Nope. This says sales receipt. It says sales receipt, wash, clean. Take me to, take me to court. Okay. Take me to court. You want me to go to court? You can go to court. Here is your notice of intent to file a lawsuit. That's fine. Okay. I have never been sued in 31 years. I'm not going to be sued now. And you know what you just lost? That's my bike. You You're lost, happy? You lost a customer base like you wouldn't believe. What do you mean? From a company that's getting ready to close this business. Get that bike. Get that. This bike? That bike is it. That's the one you brought in. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And it's fixed. Everything about it is fixed. Give me the money and we're done. Give me the money. I understand. Give me the money. And I'm going to give you the money. May I speak? We had an agreement. No, we you didn't. said you said you made zero effort to contact me until after the work was done. You're right. Give me the money and we're done. Okay. Every person that comes in asking for a, a tube and a chain, do you fix and give them a bill for three and a half times? I usually let them know that won't work, but I thought that you had the understanding that that was my I had the, You had the understanding that I Please, was, I worked on my done. own. You know everything, so from now on, you just your own. Okay, we'll see you later, kid. All right, luckily they gave us the bike back. We're right out here outside Psychologic Bike Shop. Please make note. All right, we're driving off. We have the bike in the bed of the truck. That is insane. They literally admitted to everything that they did, everything we discussed in there, and she had no shame at all. It makes me believe that they are so comfortable with what they do, the way that she admitted that we had an agreement and that she completely went around it. The fact that this shop is so close to my house, it really bugs me. She was so confident she whenever confident. she said, oh, she the said, bike is mine. She's, I'm keeping the bike then. I go, no, you're gonna keep my bike? And she was smiling. She knew I couldn't pay three and a half times more than the agreed upon rate. I think they were planning on doing that before before we had any agreements whatsoever. Like, let this be a lesson for all people. If you ever get something worked on, make sure you have all your paperwork in check. Make sure you don't sign anything. I mean, this is criminal. It seems criminal. All right, we got the bike back today. Luckily, Psychologic Bike Shop didn't take it from me. So here we go. This is the first ride. Got a good job. Thank you, Psychologic.